Hello, hello, hello. Hey, Lana. Susan must be chasing the dogs or having supper. <laughs> or a long distance call to Europe with her job. Hey, Sherry. I got to get closer to the screen so I can see. <laughs> and my fingers are still numb. Not feeling too much. Uh... Hey, Jean. Hi, Jan. Not feeling too much sensation there right now. It feels very, very, very weird. But, you know, what am I going to do? Hey, Linda. <laughs> oh, Miss Lily B. Let me get this one. Miss Lily B. And there she is, the world famous Boo Boo. Hello. <laughs> My fingers are still numb. So be oh, gentle. Oh, geez. I should have came dressed as a nurse. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Lana. Hey, Sherry. Hey, Jan. Hey, Jean. Hi, Linda. Lily B. Kathy D. Bonsoir, wow. Janine. Jan. Yeah, we have a good representation of the alphabet, don't we? Yes, we do. <laughs> All the J's are here. There you go. Jan, Jean, Janine. Hey, Melissa. Oh, I just ate a crappy pizza. Pizza. Mm. Pizza. I'm oh, nasty. Oh, and there's a Janice. Ooh. Looks like she's just um, tearing white stuff. Hey, Leslie. There's an L. There's a Leslie and a Linda. <laughs> well, another J helped me out. Johnny heard us talking about, um, you know, all the things that you guys were throwing out, all the cool ideas. And we kind of kind of kind of sort of settled on the uh library pocket thing of a jigger right so the size i need them to be and the strength they have to be because these are you know kind of thick uh, i'm gonna have to make them out of manila folders which needs means i'm not gonna run them through my through my printer for anything um, and so she came up with these cards, library cards that I can put, whoops, look at pink. I, I did this one just for you. She did them in, in brown. I did this one just for you, but I thought, okay, so we're going to put these on the back and I have, you know, I can trim it because these are all different sizes, you know? And um, so these will go in the back. And then I can write like whatever I want. I can put the name. I can, you know, when we did it, when we actually did the physically did the card, which I'd have to go back in the video to figure out. But anyway, so I think this will look kind of cool. We'll just glue it down on the back. And then I'm going to make the, a larger because um, it can't be like top heavy. So the card's going to have to, the pocket, I should say, is going to be rather um hefty and then i can pull the card out of the pocket and all the info can be back here or in the front of the card i mean at the pocket uh, i'll figure this out somehow <laughs> we can also write here so we have a lot of options 
is what I'm trying to say. Um, I think it's going to look kind of cool. And this funky fish. Put this back here. Get it all glued down. And get hey, Johnny, care of. Yeah, I think it'll work. I think it'll look pretty cool. And so she made them in two sizes because these aren't uniform because, you know, they came out of those boxes. So whatever size they are. And um, I these are old. I mean, like a couple of years ago. So who knows what size they are now? Johnny says they're probably going to be smaller because they're skimping on everything these days. So we have some small ones, too, in case I end up using... A smaller piece or I could use the smaller one and do decorating with some kind of color around here we'll see we have options we like options hey Nancy's hey Nancy yeah I changed some <laughs> Johnny goes those are pink yeah I go, I'm going to do those just for Susan. <laughs> it worked. All right. So another idea would be. So I got in trouble today. Uh-oh. From who? From the UK. What did you do to Carol? Because I, I shared her, her knicker story on the. <laughs> <laughs> Popo, it wasn't my knickers. It was my socks balled up in the. <laughs> <laughs> uh, leave it to you to get people in trouble with their own story. Oh, my gosh. I couldn't help it. It was funny. Yeah, it was. I thought I said, that's okay. I said, I was taking the garbage out one morning and I had a pool and my britches ended up around my ankles. <laughs> Well, thank heaven my accidents have nothing to do with my clothing. It's just getting knocked in the head. <laughs> well, I, down. Rather, I would much rather be standing out in my driveway naked than get hit in the nose with a dolly or <laughs> fall over the trash can on me. <laughs> thank you. Oh, no, I did that one day. I was walking it out there and I was pulling it behind me and it pulled right up my Achilles tendon. I thought I was just going to oh. go and die. Oh my gosh, that must have been painful. That, I was just thinking about it. Mm, 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 mm. All the way to the UK, I get in trouble. I love it. <laughs> Your transcontinental problem. <laughs> right. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, ladies. So I don't have, like, I've got like maybe 20% feeling in those fingers right now. I mean, as far as, you know, that, you know, you know, you guys that have that, you know what it feels like. So I've been dropping things because I'm not like grabbing things like I should. I got me my um, thingamajigger to sleep with tonight. So that's good. So are you going to fall apart all at one time? I guess that's what's happening. It's just like everything's happening at one time. Yeah. Oh, well, it wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't my dominant hand, you know, I mean, who cares, but if it was the other one, but not the one you have to grab everything with, my goodness, it's crazy. Yeah, that's how Betty is. I like this. I like how that looks. I get so tired of my hands not working. <laughs> See you at the wild crocodile. Yeah. Who's leaving? Is Betty leaving? She's she's going in the other room. We were, oh. we were sitting here watching the blacklist. Uh, Such a good show. I guess so. So what season are you on? Um, we're on current? season three, episode five. Okay. And I think there's eight or nine. I yeah. messed that up. Nancy said, have you tried ice or heat? 
No, this is like a relatively new problem for me. This, I mean, I've had it lingering, but it, it would go away, right? You know, pretty quickly. But I know what I did, and I just aggravated it. And um, yeah, it's all my fault. Well, it's all your fault. I made stuff for you guys. <laughs> you call me Sudan. <laughs> she got her couch. Damn it. Who did? Dean. Dean. She bought hers after me. Same company? No. Oh, well, there you go. I have a friend that's been waiting nine months for a faucet. Yeah. I said, well, you should have gotten just a regular cheapy one. You can get down at Home Depot. That's what you get for getting all hoity-toity and wanting a really, a really cool, <laughs> a really cool faucet. That'll teach you. <laughs> Buy stuff like the rest of us peons. Just go down there, pick it up, put it on the cart. <laughs> That's why I wanted it to be special. Well, it's going to be real special. So by the time you get it, it's going to be out of date. You'll have to go order a different one. And then when you get it, you'll need the attachments that won't be here until 2023. <laughs> Home Depot's the way. Just go down there. Go pick it up. Don't order it through Home Depot because you'll still wait nine months. You only have to get the one that's there and then it works. Yeah, Gene, I bought mine Thursday. Labor Day, Thursday before Labor Day weekend. But I think mine's being made in Vietnam or somewhere. <laughs> but my dining room chairs are ready if I want to eat in my lap. <laughs> no, you can put one chair in front of you and use that as a table. <laughs> Sit in one and... I got TV trays. Okay, well then don't complain. See, you got it good. And still don't know what the holdup is for a bench that goes at the foot of my bed. Seriously? They're waiting for the tree to grow, don't you know? <laughs> They're waiting for the tree to grow. All right, so... Now I forget which one are, are were um Yeah, they just planted the seed. Which is the yeah, which is the original. I think these are the original ones that Johnny did, the color as far as the color. And then they're in two different sizes. But why are they all pink? Well, that's not really pink. I know it looks pink here, but it, it it it's it's not. It's not pink. That one's not pink. Seriously. Um well I can see how that does have it. They all do have an undertone, don't they? I have no idea. Don't ask me the particulars. Maybe it's my printer. I know for sure this is pink because I made that one for you. Um, this is more like a fleshy color. And I guess, you know, there's a little bit of pink in flesh. <laughs> hey, Lori. <laughs> has a confession to make. Dana and her visited the Goodwill Outlet store today. Oh. <gasps> got goodies for her patio. Plant. Oh. oh. I got my escrow increase today. Uh, like, I, really? Are you kidding me? Mine gets mine gets increased almost every year, and it's because my insurance goes up. I've got it all in there together, you know. My insurance went up, and the taxes went up. Oh, fortunately, my taxes didn't. Just the insurance. Yeah. But oh my gosh, mine way, last year. Huh? Mine didn't go up last year, but it damn sure did this year. Fifteen hundred bucks. Whoa! They're like, do you wanna you wanna send us a check or do you want us to increase your monthly payment? I'm like, Jesus, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you do it in, in your monthly payment, then you're, you're paying interest. And yeah. you're, you're being charged interest on that. Exactly. Yeah. So. Okay. Let's try this on one of them and see how we like it. I think I'm going to like it. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. This looks kind of rusty. I think I'm going to put it on my rusty one. Oh, 
Okay, so I'm going to have to do a little trimming because they're all different sizes. But that'll look kind of cool because that reserve book will be right there on the tab. And I'll just cut away the other stuff. That's kind of cool. And it's just, just a sh hardly nothing on the bottom. I may not cut nothing off the bottom. And then there's a little bit around the edge. So what I'm going to do is I think I'll just get one of my one of my markers of some kind and just go around the edge. Maybe just a black marker, a, a brown marker, something like that. Um, go around that edge so you don't see it. And then we're ready to go. Oh, I don't know if I want black. I may see through this. I didn't use um, cardstock. I used just regular printer paper. Well, we're going to find out. That's the test. We will find out. Okay. So what am I supposed to do now? I forgot. <laughs> oh, yeah. Glue. Oh, no. Paint. Oh, my God. You guys, uh, today, again, I had to do a bunch of running around. I had to go pick up my medication. I had to go to the store. I had to pick up a part for the uh, for the uh, lawnmower. Oh. Uh, I forget what else I did. Oh, and then I had to go to the post office, and I had to pack some stuff. And so it was another busy day. So I think that's why my hand, you know, feels like it does now, because I really didn't get to rest my hand. Oh. Be patient with me. When I start dropping everything, you'll know why. <laughs> let me see. Let me find my stuff. Oh, here we go. Da -da -da. Oh, did oh. you hear about that? That um cheese factory that exploded in france oh no i know there was debris everywhere <laughs> <laughs> oh you quack me up oh quackers and debris uh, uh, <laughs> not, not real good but i, was, I tried i tried <laughs> oh well there's miss i wear my knickers in the in the <laughs> You're not gonna let her live that down, are you? I don't like that color for that. Let's see. Don't get your knickers in a ball, Carol. <laughs> did you see Jamie's mugshot? Yes, I did. <laughs> that was so funny. She's silly. <laughs> I was in her live today and I was lurking, but I asked her a question because she was doing that thing, you know, where she puts all her scraps in these different folders and then she goes and she makes a page out of the scraps. And then at the end of the stream, she draws "Hey, dolphin DC creations. And then at the end of the stream, she does a bingo ball and whoever guesses the number gets the rest of the scraps in the folder uh -huh. or whatever. Uh -huh. So I was asking, I didn't know that she did that. And before she said that, I told her, I said, so what do you do with your leftover scraps? Well, her chat stopped for a long time and it, nothing was happening in the chat. And she says, is my chat broke? Does my chat work? <laughs> so she put a test in there. She said, no, it works. And I said, your chat will resume once you answer my question. She's like, how did you stop my chat? <laughs> <laughs> So it's like YouTube was messing up everywhere today. <sighs> Carol got caught in a loop. She was saying, and then you force into the fall. And then you force into the fall. And then you force into the fall. And I was like, what? Why does she keep repeating? I looked and it had stopped and it was just steady looping the same oh, thing over no. and over again. I'm using my acrylic markers, guys. I Yay. Yeah. You're eating cereal at one o'clock in the morning or Ooh, that sounds good. Midnight. Whoa. Ain't nobody in New York gonna root for no damn suey pig, Scotty. <laughs> yeah, they don't want to get battle. beat up. We're rooting yeah. for the pigs. <laughs> Oh, poor piggies. So, Jamie actually challenged all of y'all to put your mug shots up there. We should, huh? Everybody was wishing her a happy birthday because she put March 17th, 1946, and she said, oops, that, 
That was before my birthday. That was my arrest date back in the day. <laughs> Scotty told me to shit up. Can I can I kick her out? <laughs> you can put her in the corner for five minutes. <laughs> you shit up too, I'm Scotty. Okay, so now, oh, and I still can't breathe, you guys, so be patient. OMG, I'm did you get a brace for your nose, too? Still trying to suck up air through that nostril, both of them. Did you get you some Vixab? <laughs> no, I got me the steroid thing, that my prescription. Did you use it? Yeah. Use it again. I can't for so many hours. What do you want me to do? Get like, you know. Yeah, but you know when they put you on antibiotics, they tell you to take a double dose when you first get them and then. Hey, I told you I don't want to buff nose. Okay. How many times do I have to explain myself? I told her that, Janice. Put a straw up there. <laughs> get you some of those little many things they have at the gynecologist you know where it twisted and it opens it up keeps keeps your nose open <laughs> that duck bill thing <laughs> please i don't want any reminders <sighs> i told her she was carol i think betty's in there eating cake that's why she went in the other room is there any left? Yeah. There, what do you mean, is there any left? Well, I know how much you like it. I had a piece for lunch. She had a piece for lunch. Okay. All righty. I'm going to put some glue on there. Scotty wants cake. You can't, oh. you can't Everybody. have cake, Scotty. <laughs> have your boyfriend get you cake. Yeah. Have your boyfriend get you cake. Yeah. See what flavor he gets you. Yeah. yeah. Get you some high school sweetheart cake. Yeah. That cake was good. Oh, Richard got all excited because in the freezer department, there was a new ice cream, that brand that he gets, you know, that he can handle. Um, it was cherry with chocolate chips. Oh. His favorite. Oh. His favorite. So, so I got it. And. <laughs> And then um, I had to come over here and do some stuff. And then I went back over there. I was making supper. And I said, um, do you think you're going to like that? He goes, I already know. I go, what do you mean? He goes, I already ate half of it. <laughs> I go, okay. <laughs> Good for you. Uh-oh, I put that on crooked. That's okay. I'm not going to judge myself. <laughs> That sounds really good, though. It looked good. I mean, the carton and, you know, how they present. I go, oh, that sounds yummy. That's like Betty's brother. He buys those, you know, those, um, what are those ice creams by, um, um, you know, they have one flavor is Cherry Garcia, Ben and Jerry's. Oh, huh? He takes the Cherry Garcia. And mixes it with the Rocky Road. And it is so awesome. I mean, he mixes it and then puts it back in the freezer to become uh -huh, his own concoction. Yeah, very good. Sounds good. Um, Carol says she likes those, those pukey pink library cards. She missed the beginning. Where are they from, please? Um, they were specially um, uh, provided by Johnny for this particular project. 
Yeah, she's in our click, Carol. Yeah, I saw that, Scotty. Got his high school picture with her sweetheart. It's going to take you forever at this rate, Missy. <laughs> hey, I'm talking about. Man, what do you want from me? Factory? Here I am. I can't breathe. I can't move my hand. And you want me to do it faster. Linda's favorite Ben and Jerry's is Chubby Hubby. <laughs> I haven't seen that one. That is what it's called. I hear everybody talk about fish food or fish. I don't know. I'm not a I'm not a nice cream person. I think this is gonna work, you guys. What do you think? Well, that's why we, we decided it. Yeah, but you can't deciding it in you know abstract and then seeing it live. Okay, so I think that's gonna work. Oh, Nancy got a big bird journal. A what? Like a big bird journal, I guess, like a Sesame Street journal or so. I don't know. She said my big bird journal arrived today. I love it. Oh, I think it's the one I made. <laughs> I think it's the one she I think it's the one she bought from me. So she bought a big bird one from me. Not the big bird, but a big bird. Never mind. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, a bigger one than Leslie got. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Leslie got one of the smaller ones. And Sherry, then I show off and get the big one. Sherry likes Dublin mudslide. Mm, I like any kind of mudslide. <laughs> Me, I would just prefer plain old vanilla. No way, Jose. Plain old vanilla, throw it in the microwave. Chop up strawberries and put chocolate syrup in it. I think I need the pink one for the circus. And it fits perfect. I don't have to cut the sides. Just a tiny bit on the bottom. There is nothing at the circus pink except the hippopotamus's tutu. Well, there is now. Right, so you take my favorite one and put pink on it. Well, you can only have to look at one side. You don't have to look at both sides. So, so how you coming on that mugshot journal? <laughs> did you not just hear everything I did today? I haven't exactly been working on it. Well, I know that you're a night owl, so I thought maybe last night you might have. Last night, I couldn't use my hand. That's why I closed it up early. I was in pain, lady. OMG. <laughs> it's like, if I felt like playing, I would have played with you guys. It's raining here. Uh-oh. We have a chance of rain tomorrow. Maybe it's coming from you. I don't know. Could be. It was 80 degrees today. Yeah, it was pretty, it was pretty warm and muggy. Supposed to be um, something like fifty-five tomorrow. So really, yeah, with a, a chance, slight chance of rain tomorrow. But then it must be coming from you guys because then on it passes through, and then on Saturday it's supposed to be almost eighty again and sunny skies. So it's just it's just blowing through. Yeah, we have thirty percent tonight. Tomorrow's going to be a high of 73, low of 45. That's what I told Betty yesterday. I said, you need to just take my SUV while I'm working right here and go just go to the plant store and fill it up with flowers and plants. Cause oh, wow. I would I'm not love doing anything until the freezers are gone. Oh, I'm not going to freeze here. <laughs> hey y'all Miss APG Hey Kathy says the storm already passed by her And is headed your way Oh lovely 
yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be yucky, kind of yucky tomorrow compared to how pretty it's been. Yeah, this was almost perfect. Just a tiny bit on the bottom. Then we'll further disguise it. Lansing, Michigan, getting rain tomorrow. Isn't that where Roseanne and the Connors live? I think so. Lin Linda said it was short weather for us today, 67 degrees. See here it has the name, the date. Oh, it's reserved book, so. It's a full moon now, Janice. It's a what? Full moon. When? In the sky tonight. Well, when I took when I took the recycling out this morning, that moon was looked full to me. Huh? I didn't even notice. Well, I'm not going to notice tonight either. We're going to have all the the clouds are already in. It's really clouds are thick already. So I'm not seeing nothing. Janice said an old farmer told her to wait to plant at the full moon after Easter. Yeah, but they keep changing Easter. Yeah, see, Jamie said very full moon here. Now, I know it ain't just full in Texas. <laughs> well, they might be full of it in Texas. but maybe. Nah. Uh, 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 uh. That's what Jamie does. <laughs> <laughs> hey, South Paul Studio 21. Hey, hey. Okay, so that one's done. Hey, we got two done. Woohoo! Next. 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 See how one many... down, 25 to go. <laughs> I could do I could do four more because most of them are gonna be, I think, the big size. Let's see. I like I think I'll put him back there. So let me get my pen again. My coat. Oh, here it is. That's probably a good color. Yeah. I, just I filled up my gas tank last week and I'm scared to go anywhere now. Oh, dear. You filled it up, you said? Yeah. Oh, boy. Well, you know, there's not too many places I go that's far away anymore anyway, so. Groceries and what? Doctor. <laughs> that's yeah. <about> it. <laughs> that's my adventures in my life these days. Luckily, the grocery store is two blocks away. Oh, wow. That is very fortunate. Well, the area that I go to places. It's 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 like a five mile radius. I don't go very far. Yep. Everything, hey, Samar. Everything's really close here, so that's as far as I go. And even then, my husband goes, "Are you sure you want to go all the way out there? Why don't you go and get it?" Blah blah blah. I said, "Richard, it's only five miles away." <laughs> oh yeah, he goes, "I forget." His his mind is still like L A distances, you know. Everything. It's so far away, you know, or at least it appears to be. Yeah. The furthest I drive is to work, and that's 12 miles. Well, that's not bad. Mm -mm. It was 40 to 45 before we moved back over here. Oops. Ow. That's right, Nancy. Sometimes there are 13 full moons in a year. The 13th one is called a blue moon. That's why it's once in a blue moon. That's right.
Yep. Yeah. See? Some of you guys learned something. Who's in trouble now? My grandson. Oh, no. Not good. And every time he's in trouble, they call Grammy. And is she, like, supposed to make it better? Or is she the disciplinarian? Or what the heck's going on? Well, because we raised him for five years. Mm hmm So, he knows Grammy don't play. Ah. Well, he must forget every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> he gets in trouble. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I forgot. Yeah, but you know what? Um, an in-person ash chewing and a FaceTime ash chewing is two totally different things. Oh, yeah. I could even handle that. <laughs> oh, now she's being all nice. Listen to her. No, now she's talking to mom. <laughs> Caden Thomas. Caden Thomas. <laughs> yeah, see, I was I was the nice one. She was the disciplinarian. Because I would stop every day at the thrift store and get him something. <laughs> you were the briber? And then when I got home, we would sit there and eat hot Cheetos and eat Jelly Bellies. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, the good old days. And when she'd fuss at him, when she'd leave the room, I'd walk past him and I'd go, it's okay, brother, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's sort of how like you and the dogs. <laughs> Just do what she says and she'll shut up. Just, just, just. Haven't you figured that out yet? Just do what she says. <gasps> just pick up the phone and call me. <laughs> 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 okay, another one done. Yay. Oh, Linda, Linda said she was a disciplinary as well. All her boys know, just ask them. Oh boy. Scotty said, Nathan says, come tell Nana what you did. Owen starts crying. Don't make me tell Nana. <laughs> Poor kids. You terrorize them. I know, because Caden will tell his mom, why do, why, why do you have to tell her? I like these. I see that. Well, you know, with the other acrylic, like the Posca pens and stuff like that, that's also acrylic paint. But you have to pump them. And then sometimes you pump them and it goes all over the place or you shake them and it flicks all over the place. And it's crazy. This is just, it's there. It's ready to go. You don't have to do anything. So are they new? Um... Um, relatively, I got him at the beginning of the year. Okay, well, this is March the 15th, 16th, 17th. Yeah, if you call that new, they're new. If you don't, they're not. <laughs> I need to cut some of that white off. How did I leave that white? 
Shame All you got to do is just hit it with that whatever color your ink is over there. You're just going to start looking like Carol's, not going to know what color it is. <laughs> the darker is the walnut. The lighter is the vintage photo. I keep this one on this side and this one on this side. Well, she's organized. Leave her I, told her, I said, well, I hope your tray don't fall on the floor. <laughs> this one's always on the left. And this one's always on the right. <laughs> no wonder you're getting in trouble. I know. She probably regrets the day that she figured out who you were. I know. She told me today, she said, I didn't realize you've been a member of my group for a long time and you even won a prize. Did you ever get it? <laughs> I think that was like back back in 2018 or something. She had a bingo game and I won. I was like, hell you. Yeah. <laughs> Janice said, I was lurking when you told her that. But see, that's like these ladies that have these lies and they ignore me in chat. I come back over here and I get them. Jamie. Right. I had to magically stop Jamie's chat today to get an answer. <laughs> <laughs> you did the whammy on the algorithm, huh? <laughs> I'll show you, my pretty. Chat stuck. <laughs> So there's a new movie with um oh what's the dude's name? I don't know. It's about this dude and a dog and it looks so hilarious. Kind of like did you ever see Turner and Hooch? No. You've never seen Turner and Hooch with Tom Hanks? No. You got to watch it. Okay. Put it on one night when you're just sitting in your studio. Okay. If you like dogs, you will love. I like dogs. And I like Tom Hanks. I don't know what... Is that like the algorithm word for tonight? What is? Shit. <laughs> I don't know. Because there goes Nancy. I can't wait to use shit up tomorrow. <laughs> what is she going to do? Chanum Tatum. Oh, he's the one in it? APG said, we want to see that dog and man movie, too. Yeah. Well, I can't be loud in chat, Scotty. Is that the one about the vet, the dog that was in the military? No, 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 no. This is a comedy. Oh, so is this one. Oh, I don't know, then. Maybe. Let me see. New the dog vet, movie. The vet dies or something or gets injured. And the it's the it's his journey taking him back home to the family, the owner. I don't I don't know the specifics. And the dog's like kind of like a raging maniac or something. <laughs> and so's the guy. Oh, it's called dog. <laughs> yes. With a dog named Lulu by his side, Army Ranger Briggs races down the Pacific coast to make it to a soldier funeral on time. Okay, yeah, that's it. I've seen the previews. Channing Tatum and, yeah. <laughs> okay, when we're done, guys. Woohoo! And I don't mind telling you, my hand is killing me. It feels better to complain. Let me complain because it makes me feel better. <laughs> May not make you feel better, but it makes me feel better. Uh, ooh. All right, let's see how this one fits. Oh, it's a little short. Oh, no. 
Hey, it's okay though. I gotta do is put the little, all right, put the colors around it, and we're fine. Let's switch it, Rooney, on the colors now. It's just, just for the fun of it. Let's get a different color. May as well put pink so it'll blend. No, I don't want pink. I don't want What's on the other side? Which card? Oh, Egyptian. Yeah, I was thinking of one of the blues. I think would look cool. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Lucy. Let's do this one. And then when we ink it up, it'll look really cool. Oh, man, it soaks up. Oh, because it's not, this one's not painted white. So it really. Oh, no, Jess. Okay, that's okay. I don't, I didn't want it to be bright anyway. So that's good. Just a hint of it back there. Poifix. You said she got them from Johnny, Lucy, but they're pink. No, she didn't give me the pink ones. Oh, she had the pink ones. Never mind. I did the pink ones. I just changed the color on it. It's it's the it's the card she she made for me, but um, I switched a few of them with some color. She did two colors, and I did I think two colors. So I learned how to make a Wendy's Frosty. From scratch? Yeah. Ooh, do tell. You take a half a gallon of chocolate milk, a 14-ounce can of Eagle Brand milk, and eight ounces of Cool Whip. You mix it all together and you freeze it. And it doesn't get hard. It just gets thick like a milkshake. Hmm. So that's a half a gallon of chocolate milk, 14 ounce can of Eagle Brand milk, eight ounces of Cool Whip. Mix it up and freeze. That sounds like a lot of calories. That sounds good. It does. Yeah. I need to cut this one down a little bit. It's a little, little bit too much. Johnny said she made them peach, but she don't know what button you push to make them pink. I just put them in my little, my little thingamajigger where you can change things up. <laughs> oh, see, I like that little bit of blue showing. Oh, no. What? Carol said, what the heck is Cool Whip? <gasps> oh, no, you deprived. OMG. Oh no. Okay. I, I'm gonna it, show her. Cool whip is is synthetic because it never goes bad. <laughs> it's whip it's fake whipped cream that Americans love. It's fake all the way. But we can't live without it. It's like a, I don't even know. It's fake whipped cream. That's what it is. It's got so many preservatives. You can't, you can't make it go bad. <laughs> Plus you keep it in the freezer. It, so it never goes bad. It just turns into plastic if you don't eat it. Let's see. There you go, Tinson. Check your messages. How much Cool Whip? Um, it is, I think it is the, let's see. Do, 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 do. An eight ounce bowl of Cool Whip, a 14 ounce can of Eagle Brand milk, and a half a gallon of chocolate milk. Ooh, just think if you. Carol's in the UK, Scotty. 
if you uh you could substitute any flavor then right you could put strawberry milk in there or i guess if you want a strawberry frosty yeah if you want a vanilla one just put regular milk well i yeah well yeah i guess But it doesn't get hard. Yeah. Well, that's the fun part of the frosty. Yeah. You don't want it hard. Oops. Need glue there. Glue alert. Well, that's like they were talking about that, um, that, um, flavored creamers. That you buy in yeah. the dairy section, they say all you got to do is take so much milk, so much Eagle Brand milk, and then just your flavoring, whichever flavor that you like. Oh um, man, and there's so many. Uh, no. <sighs> That's getting me excited. <laughs> Hey, Deborah. Hey, Deborah. Ooh, what is clotted cream? Ugh. <laughs> I don't even sound good. Have some blood pudding with some clotted cream, please. <laughs> Don't 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 eat that and watch Doctor like Doctor Pimple. It sounds like cottage cheese, huh? Ooh, yeah, it does. Clotted cream and scones. They don't even sound good. Oh, that'd be like the whipped cream you put up on top of the scones, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I'm just making it up. Okay, but I don't know because they 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 call a a cracker a biscuit. Oh, a cracker's a cookie, right? Well, it ain't a biscuit. <laughs> you put gravy on a biscuit. Yeah. Who who was who was who was anywhere first? The English or the Americans? The Are Americans. They? No, they weren't. Bull Not, the white, Not the white Americans. Navajo boy. <laughs> I said, not the white Americans. Navajo boy, I'll give it to him. Let's see. No. Oh, it's like, it's like thick, sweet butter. Oh. I guess it coagulates. A cracker is for cheese. Yes. Yeah, we agree. And a biscuit is what you sop your gravy up with. <laughs> I don't think, I think that's you talking, not them. <laughs> I can tell who's talking now. Wow. Ooh, wow. You're looking so fine, I can sop you up with a biscuit. <laughs> Let's get a Texas pickup line. <laughs> With a preface, like, oh, you child, right? Let's see what color is that. Um, I don't know what they call a biscuit. Maybe a crumpet. A biscuit is what you dunk in your brew. Brew? Yeah, that's what she said the other day. I'm just having me a slip of my brew. I thought brew was beer. 
No, that's too- I don't know what's going on. I have no idea what's going on. I'm not even gonna try and understand. So Deborah says she makes a fake clotted cream. She thinks the pioneer woman has a recipe. You can't get the real stuff here. Yeah, just like you can't get cool whip in England. That's right. Janice says, or the other phrase, well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit. <laughs> oh, Janice said you brew tea. Oh, oh, okay. But brew is beer, right? Yeah, did you say you want to go get a cold brew? Oh, yeah. Look at her. You lot don't talk proper. <laughs> I guess I'll never be invited for tea at Buckingham Palace. You don't but maybe know. if, but maybe if I go to Balmoral, I can go and stick those things on my head and play games with them. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to know what finger to put up for that. That's right. Okay, I gotta trim this one a little bit on the side. That's right. Scotty says it's a general rule. I try not to eat anything that's clotted. <laughs> She doesn't eat jello. That's clotted. Yeah, it's coagulated. That's jello jellied. Yeah. Oh. How do you think it's coagulated? It's gelatized. <laughs> Y'all have jello over there in the UK? I think jello is kind of universal. Well, gelatin for sure, but maybe not the brand name Jello. Oh no! APG says you take extra heavy cream, put it in a baking dish, a Pyrex dish, put it in the oven at two hundred degrees for twelve hours, let totally cool, and pour off the liquid. That so that's curdled milk. Oh, who wants that? Mm -mm. I'll pass. Oh, that's the bottom. Okay. Oh, hold on. Thank you. It's congealed. Not coagulated. Oh, okay. That's just blood, right? Blood coagulates. <laughs> Would you like some congealed salad? No. <laughs> coagulated? Am I interested in some coagulation? <laughs> that's nasty. I'm not I'm not gonna eat no milk that's been sitting in the oven for twelve hours. <laughs> no, you have one minute, Elvis. Who are we talking about? She oh, said, did I miss the hate? He's okay. It's eight o'clock. Ever all the lurkers say hey. Eight o'clock. Lurkers say hey. It wasn't even a minute now. She said, Have y'all said hey yet? Because hubby wants to start season four of Yellowstone. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sherry. Hey, Melissa. Hey, Stasha. Hey, APG. Hey, Janice. Hey, Jan. Hey, Dolphin Creations. Janine. Hey, Elvis. Hey, Linda. Hey, Nancy. Hey, hey, Carol. Uh, Carrie. Hey, Danielle. Hey, Deborah. Hey, Johnny. She sent another card that's not pink. Hey, Journey. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yay. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Carol. She's back. She's trying to order some Cool Whip off of Amazon. <laughs> hey, Scotty. Hey, Kathy D. Oh, 
All right. All right. Oh, that looks good. It matches, huh? Yes. It matches. Okay, let me open up and see what else. But you know, you know me, I'm afraid to um Hey CJ. Oh, you're there. I was gonna say I'm afraid to um to print because it messes up my computer for some reason. Remember? <laughs> Remember? Let's see. Oh, I'll have to go read it, Carol. Everybody was telling their knicker stories today. Oh, wow. <laughs> they said <clears throat> at my office, it's a three-story building. And they said back in the day when all the offices were filled with all the sales guys and all of that kind of stuff that the um, one of the secretaries mm -hmm. was the last one to get into the elevator and the elevator was packed. And they got all the way up to the third floor. When, when she went to step, the elastic must have busted in her, in her panties mm -hmm. and they fell down to her ankles. Oh, my God. And so since she was the first, the last one in the elevator, they had to wait for her to bend over, pick her <laughs> drawers up, stick them in her pocket, and then exit the elevator. Oh, my gosh. I just went to HR, got my final check, and walked out the door. <laughs> okay, let me save this. Save. Dolphin said, I just realized you all don't know. I'm Dorcas Colasso. Who is? Well, nice to meet you. Dolphin DC. Nice. Nice to meet you, Dorcas. Isn't that a biblical name? Dorcas? Um, I don't. Who'd they, who'd they beget? <laughs> I don't know. I think she was a, a herder. I mean, or she, I don't know. Some, it has something to do with either goats or sheep or something. I don't remember. <laughs> okay. It's, for some reason, it's not letting me save this thing. Why is it acting up? Create a new. I don't want to do that. I just want to save this. How do I save it? Dorcas is in the book of Acts and was known for their good good deeds. Okay. There you go. It says I can print, but it isn't letting me save. Okay, APG, you said that all wrong. <laughs> she said, it is. I used to cut a lady named Dorca's hair. <laughs> <laughs> That's how they say it in Texas. Leave her alone. She said, yes, it is. I'm in the group with you all. And APG says, are you her? <laughs> How about I used to cut a lady's hair named Dorcas, Dorca. Disciple and a seamstress that was resurrected. Okay, I'm having trouble here. Let me go back. Let me get out of here completely because it's not letting me do what I want to do. It just... Uh -huh. Okay, let me try it again. Save as. It's not letting me do it. Uh -uh. And it won't let me open it. Okay, Johnny, I'm not sure how you sent it, but it's not letting me. Hold on, let me see. Let me save it this way. Show as, say, nope. Set as open with. No places to say. Save. She sent two emails. Try both. Okay. 
CJ said that she has a pair of knickers from the 1800s where they come to the knees and are split in the right area to do, you know what, they were her great grandma's. That's those Mormon, Mormon drawers. <laughs> oh, no, don't. Okay, I even want to know what you're going to say. No. I just, I just about anything she's going to say. <laughs> no, when when they're married in the temple, they put on their sacred undergarments and they never take them off. I don't want to hear this story. <laughs> hey, emergency monkey. I don't. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> they have Velcro, Jamie. Can you click and drag to the desktop? It wasn't letting me. Oh, now it's saying save as. Try the one that says yeller. That's what I'm doing. Hey, Allie. Okay, I think I I think I found a way to save it. Hold on. They have buttons, Jamie. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. All right. I have it. I have it in my possession. Should I dare try and and uh, <laughs> print it? See if I lose everybody. I think it mess, messed up my. What did it do last time? Oh, it started this really high pitched humming in. But then it stopped. On the audio. Okay, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and print, guys, and we had. Right, let's see what happens. I'll mute you if you start whistling. Whistling. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh no. Okay, print. Print. And you guys, let me know because I couldn't hear the sound. Only you guys could. Is it going to bounce off the desk? No, that's my camera is next to the table that that's on. Oh. And so it's vibrating it. Mm -mm, she gets mad when I do that. No, nope, it didn't. That looks a lot better. <laughs> OMG, a lot better. Okay. As long as Popo's happy. We're all happy. All is well with the world. Yeah, I like that color too. Yeah, it looks like a a, a patina file folder, huh? Yep. And of course, the bottom's dark because it's um, in the library pocket, so it's not getting light. It should be the other way around then. <laughs> it should be dark up there and light down here. It ain't fax paper. Oh, okay. Isn't modern technology wonderful? Here we are playing with this. Johnny's way over in Florida. Manipulating colors. Boom, it comes out of the printer. And then we're playing here. Well, Carol's watching it in England. Isn't it? Isn't that cool? I know. All, all comfy in bed with her brew. <laughs> yep. And she's giggling away and her neighbors don't know what she's laughing about in bed all night. That looks cool with that one. Oh, and this one will look cool with that one too. Yeah, those two look good. 
that new lady over there, she must have some late night visitor because she gets the giggling in the middle of the night. <laughs> yep. That is the truth. I think that'll look good with black. Do I have a black one? Do I have black? No, I don't have black. Oh, I don't have black in these. Why did they do that? Black is one of the most important colors. Do you have a Sharpie? Yeah, but I wanted to use those. Maybe hey, she's gonna make she's gonna make I don't know. I don't know how she's gonna attach these together. She's gonna make library library card pockets. <laughs> yeah. And she's going to attach the library card pockets and slide the cards in the pocket. What did I do? With oh, here it is. I knew I brought it over here. Oh my gosh. There you go. Library. Yeah, library card pockets. Does that marker smell? No, because this is a fabric marker, so it's also uh, a fabric. Yeah. No super cells are being eaten away during this project. See if I have to trim it down or not. And it doesn't look like it. Maybe a tiny, tiny, tiny bit on the side. So, does your Hobby Lobby lock up the spray paint? Only certain brands. It's weird. Not ours, all of them. Ours lock them all up, but you can go right down the street to Ace Hardware and they're just right out on the shelf. Yeah, I don't know. I guess it's just their personal thing. I think for them, I, I mean, I'm just guessing. Uh, people want to test what the color looks like, and they just spray it on anything. Yeah, they spray it on the metal shelves. Yeah, it's like, what? Come on, people. Well, they ought to have like testers there with those um those metal panels. Well, they have um over at Home Depot, they have like this thick paper, and you can spray it on. It's white. You can spray it on there, you know, and then they just keep moving the paper off, you know. Yeah. Um. So they don't mind. They don't care if you test them, but they have something there because they don't want you, like you said, putting it on the shelves. Oh, APG says hers does because the miners tend to huff it and mean people spray it on the shelves. They still huff? Girl, please. I, I've, I've seen them in the grocery store huffing um, um, Ready Whip or whatever that. <laughs> because... Because before <laughs> before the whipped cream comes out, it, there's a gas in there. Oh, I'm gonna say I think they're just hungry. <laughs> no, 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 no. They're not eating the cream. They're they're just taking that first hit of that gas, and then they uh, put it back. And I'm like, uh, excuse me. <laughs> exactly. Uh, excuse me. What are you exactly are you doing? Okay, we won't say nothing until you get back, Carol. Is she getting more spot of tea? No, she got to use. She got to go to the loo. Oh, she had too much tea. <laughs> but do you know that the loo is not open on Sundays? I didn't know that. She said that today. It's not open. Oh, she, APG said they like that air in the can. It takes oxygen from their brain, giving a high sensation. So stupid. Well, not much. They don't have much as it is oxygen in their brains. Sure. Same people that got the airplane glue put under lock and key. 
Yeah, a lot of places do that. It's pretty powerful stuff. I remember my brother used to put models together. I couldn't even be in the same room. I was like, whoa. Whoa, that stuff was strong. Yeah, that's nasty stuff. He says, I don't even smell it. I said, because you've burnt your nostrils up. That's why. That's like you with that shellac. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> that's natural. It don't smell. It's natural. It's not going to do anything to you. It just bug poop. What? Look it up. Airplane glue is bug poop? No, shellac. Oh, shellac is bug poop. I got to look that up. <laughs> It's shellac bug poop. That came up. Shellac, also known as confectioner's glaze, is made from a resin excreted by the female lac beetle indigenous to India and Thailand. So it's you know what extraction means. It's made from bug excrement. You know, okay, there you go. Shellac is not bug poop. What is it? Well, this is popular woodworking, and it says, okay, it's a small thing, but I still get irritated when I hear, see or hear shellac described as bug excretion. It's not. Didn't you just read what it is, and that's what it is? Well, I read the first thing that came up on Google. So they're showing the, zen, the Zenser shellac. Yes. It's not. Think of the related word excrement. It, it's a resinous secretion big difference from a bug that feeds off of plum trees which are native to south asia the bug secretes the resin to shelter and protect its offspring the now resin is how harvested do, and shipped around the world how do you how does an animal secrete something out of them they could do it out of their mouth oh so it's bug throw up okay i rest my case <laughs> Okay, it's not bug poo, it's bug bug throw up. It says in <laughs> biblical times the resin was most highly valued for its reddish color. Now it's used primarily as a coating. Um no, she saw a doctor yesterday about her hand. And then today she went and she got her a little brace to sleep in when she picked up her nasal steroids. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Man, that sounded bad. I'm falling apart. I don't want to know, Stasia, but I don't eat jello. <laughs> yeah, the thickening agent, Stasia. Oh, yeah. You know, if people knew, it, if they went to a slaughterhouse, they would never, ever eat meat again something never like placenta or something no oh yeah I'm i know sure. they used to say that that cream rinse had placenta in it who knows they put such weird things and stuff in the past Oh, Lucy said you can get vegetarian gelatin. Right. That kind of gives you a hint what's in regular gelatin. So, <clears throat> is it like that stuff that's in head cheese? You've got Google. Read it to us. Gelatin comes from bones. Well, I tell you what, man, I bet then I will suck the gelatin right out of a pork chop bone because I love pork yeah, chop Yeah, but bone. you're not a vegetarian. Oh, this is true. So sucking out of an animal is not out of your realm. Vegetarians it is.
Dennis said that y'all learned that during the Oaxaca caboodle. <laughs> That's right. Uh, we're a very educational group, you guys. If he did, said no. No what? I don't know. Do we need to throw Carol a rope? Because she's been gone for a long time. <laughs> Maybe she's get refilling. She's making herself some tea. A spot of tea. A spot of tea. Yeah. I think I'll have a spot of tea. The bones are cooked and cooked and then it congeals. Voila, gelatin. I can see that. Because you see that like whenever you see those jars of bone broth. Because that's like a big thing now. Just look when you cook, you know, like short ribs in a pot. You get the gelatin. Yeah, I, up. I skim that stuff off. Oh, you can make some jello with it. No. <laughs> Y'all want some chicken noodle gelatin? <laughs> oh, Carol says he's been back a while. So can you tell us why the loo is closed on Sundays? She said, you can get a taxi driver to take you to the loo on Sunday and he'll do it. But it's closed. It ain't his job to tell you it's closed. It's just his job to drive you there. How come you have to be driven to the loop? I don't, I don't know. Not the same thing, girl. Black pudding is made with pig blood. Yep. Mm -mm. That's mm -mm. very Filipino. You said that today, Carol, on your live. You can get a taxi driver to drive you to the loo on Sunday, but it's closed. But it ain't his job to tell me it's closed. It's his job to drive. Hey, Janice. She say or what or what? How do you say it? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> or what? Or what? Is she trying to say adios to us? She's trying to say hello. Oh, never mind. No, that wasn't Carol. That was APG. <laughs> Holy, Holy cow. How could you get the two of those confused? I don't know because I watched them both today while I was working. It was APG because APG wants to go to the museum and put her fingerprints all over the golden sculptures. Okay. You didn't say it, Carol. Never mind. APG said it. Poor Carol. Hey, Leslie. <laughs> She's like, I did not say that. I know. All I had was a spot of tea. <laughs> <laughs> I said, 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 getting staticky it just did that yeah so i wonder if it's because of, i did the printer i don't think so but okay. it just did it to me too okay that one's done yay so see you're rocking right along now i think so jeez i wonder what the hell you were talking about i'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to print again i already ran out well print okay <laughs> APG said, well, it was me that pronounced it, so yeah. <laughs> it's all her fault. Kathy said it's pronounced O Evoir. O Evoir. O Evoir. <laughs> oh my God, I'm getting my tubers mixed up. 
Yeah, and what two distinct types <laughs> of accents you can use. <laughs> Obviously, your recall is not connected to a voice. <laughs> Well, when anybody says Lou, they sound European. <laughs> when she says it, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't handle this. <laughs> All right, let me find. I can't even pull up this thing. Hold on. <laughs> oh, okay. So Elvis said, did you know that the inside of a Kit Kat bar is the broken, rejected Kit Kats turned into a yummy cream so they are never wasted. It's a Kit Kat in a Kit Kat in a Kit Kat over and over again. Ooh, that sounds like something cosmic. It just continues and never ends. An eternal Kit Kat. Eternal even. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's just go ahead and print these and, and hope we don't vibrate too much. Close your eyes, ladies. We're printing. <laughs> so close our eyes. Well, because you didn't like the vibration of my of my camera. <laughs> yeah, the never ending candy. I can never go to the UK. The Lou, the Louvre. The Louvre isn't there. So if I'm at somebody's house and go, can you show me where's your Louvre? <laughs> they tell you to go to France. <laughs> <laughs> you got the wrong thing in the wrong country. <laughs> And then if I go to the go to the the window and say I need a ticket to the loo, they'll just <laughs> hand me a key on a on a giant biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> I need a ticket to the loo, please. <laughs> Okay, so Paris has the louver, and the loo is the toilet. Yes. So, so if you really have to pee, do you skip to the loo? <laughs> That's where it probably comes from. <laughs> so wait together, just skip on. <laughs> Skip to the loo, my darling. So how'd they make the first Kit Kat? Stocky wants to know. <laughs> <laughs> they made it with a biscuit. A biscuit is <laughs> over chocolate from making your own what were you making before <laughs> the frosty or something what were yeah you <laughs> uh oh we got carol groaning <laughs> don't worry carol you already did your skipping you don't have to worry you can laugh all you want Let me see. Why is it called a loo? It's his name was Lou. It says, despite being a very British word for toilet, loo is actually derived from the French phrase the <laughs> which means watch out for the water. <laughs> Named after the loo. <laughs> but you in like, oh. America. oh no, it messed up our it messed up our audio completely. In America, we call the loo the John. 
Yeah, they both, 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 both uh, guys' names. <laughs> oh, she said name. oh, hey, let's just go for it. <laughs> we'll just print away. <laughs> All right, everybody say hey to Artie, Artie Dar and Jennifer Tane. Hey, hey. Johnny just sent you a green one. Okie dokie. I'm looking. Okay, so it's preview. See, that's what is messing me up. It, every time it tells me something different. See, it says, having trouble previewing this file. Try, retry, or download. So I click download. And it says error. Huh. Preview. Oh, here we go. Save as. Yay! It worked. I think. Hold on. <laughs> Let me open hey, up. Hey, Donna. Phone. So Donna hey. says, "Hi, I am new to your channel. May I ask where the Rusty Peacock name came from?" Um. Okay. I can forget my own story. Do you remember my story, Susan? Never heard it. No, uh, I haven't heard from Pinky. No. Uh, where Rusty Peacock? Okay, I basically blended my two favorite things. I love rusting everything. I like everything rust. I love the color of rust. And one time I saw this photograph, and I love peacocks. Saw a photograph of this peacock, and it was all done in rusty colors. And so I said, if I ever have a business, this was years ago, years, years ago. If I ever have a business, I'm going to call it the Rusty Peacock. And lo and behold, I ended up opening an Etsy shop. And there you go. The Rusty Peacock. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try and print this now. The green one. Okay, okay well, so it's going to vibrate. I'm going to print. Actually. Uh-oh. The name John was derived from Jake and Jack. Secondly, but most notable amongst historians, John was the name of the first man credited with inventing the first flushing toilet. Aha. John Harrington was born during the time in which Queen Elizabeth reigned. His mother was a member of the Queen's Chamber. Oh, why did it do that in the corner? Oh, that's been... Oh, well, never mind. I'm going to have to have a a tech call in the future, Johnny. I've been having an issue with um, this feeder. Oh, my God. Whoa. Hmm. Let's straighten that out. And I'm getting lines. I'm not going to print no more because I'm going to have to recalibrate. It's time for for that time. And that takes time. <laughs> so we'll just play with what we've got printed right now. She said, great name. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Hey, hey, Aunt Beck. Aunt Beck is lurking, and that's okay. Hey, of course it is. We haven't been talking about Mary, so we haven't been naughty. And you didn't even have to tell us you were lurking because it's after eight o'clock. Yeah, yeah. You can you can lurk for free after eight. Before eight, I mean at eight, you got to show up. So Artie Dar said her old logo was get your paws on. Mama told us as kids, keep your paws off. I wanted customers to touch. Oh, interesting. Carol said you need to call these shows Wikipedia. <laughs> yeah, we do come up with info, don't we? Even stuff you guys don't want to know, we come up with it.
Well, there's a story behind everything. That's right. That's right. I was talking with a friend of mine the other day about music. She uh, she plays several instruments, and so we just talking in general, nothing in particular. And then we started talking about um, music or songs or lyrics or melody, whatever, that have had an imp a lasting impact on us, you know. And I don't know if any of you guys are attached, like, to certain songs or certain melodies or that I like, can bring back memories of, you know, sometimes not so good memories and sometimes good memories. I know some people, um, like, smells will trigger memories for a lot of people. And some people, it's music. Some people, it's something visual. Do we have any music people in the house? Oh, yeah. Well, we used to have Tahira. Yeah. She's probably busy because they're, you know, opening up the 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 venues now, so You sound like a bug hitting the light, light killing bug. Doesn't it sound like she's being zapped by a bug? Well, I was fine until you did that printer. That's what I told you. I'm going to leave and come back. Okay. Okay. I can figure out how to do that. <laughs> I can knock you out if you want. <laughs> Let's see. I got I'm gonna use those colors for that. Now, uh oh. This will look let's see. The green. More of the same color? Maybe, maybe not. Oh, definitely the brown one for this one. It's all brown. Yay! And I already did something on the back, but it doesn't matter because I want to go ahead and let me see which one for the green. Let me see. Maybe the green one with this will look really pretty. Okay, so we'll do that. And do that. Okay, let's get those down. Let's get those. Oh, let me see if Susan's. Hold on, I might even look up there and see what's going on for Su poor Susan. <laughs> okay, she's not back yet. I just thought I was going to do this for a few minutes. We're doing it the whole time. <laughs> Little did I know. All right. Let's see if I have to put some paint on here. Just on the bottom right there. That's good. That's good. I think Susan went to go make her a Frosty or something. This is going to look cute when we're all done. And then you realize, you guys, that the, um, I think for almost all of them, except for maybe one, I've got the collages there in the group. So even if you just printed out the collage, you could make a whole set like these. Wouldn't that be cool? And they're all in there. I'll see which was missing and I'll make one up for the missing one. That way we can have the whole set in case you want to do that. 
And these, you know, I got these from the liquor store. Everybody's got a liquor store in town. Those are those slats that go inside the box to separate the bottles. It's just the right thickness. So think about that. That's a super, 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 super cheap project. All you need is glue. And if you're not in the group, I know everybody's not on Facebook. If you aren't in the group, I could I could email you the file and then you can just print it out. Files. We've got 24. <laughs> Wait, what what am I what am I putting myself into now? Wait a minute. 24, 26, 27 files. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on, everybody. <laughs> Hold on. Not sure what I'm committing myself to. Okay, so you ladies out there, what song really brings the memories flooding to you? There's got to be one. Or maybe, you know, if you're of the, uh, what was that? What was that called? That, ch that cable channel that had all the videos on MTV. If you're of the MTV generation. Maybe what video did it for you? I had to go check out a piece of art. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh la la. <laughs> They're going to tell us what art, I mean, art, <laughs> what music um, brings memories to them. It doesn't matter what kind, good or bad. Yes, Carol. That's where I was. She was looing it. Okay. More glue. There's a song I re that reminds me of growing up, and that was um, Bimbo. It was a song called Bimbo. Bimbo? <laughs> yeah. And who sang that? I don't know. It was on an an album that I used to play over and over and over again. And it was a little song and it, it said, Bimbo, Bimbo, where you gonna go, yo? Bimbo, Bimbo, what you gonna do, yo? Bimbo, Bimbo, does your mama know? You're going down the road to see a little girl, yo. And I don't know why, but every time I, well, not every time. I don't know. I don't and it reminds me of 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 growing up. So have you looked it up to see what it is and who it is? And I've listened to it before. And then I found the album not too long ago, but it's like Yeah, but but who sings it? What's the name of the album? Um I don't know. That sounds, I don't know why, it reminds me of an Italian song that was in a movie that Sophia Loren sang. No, that was Houseboat, and that was, um, that was that song about, um, where they sang it with, with this, with the little boy that played on the Donna Reed show. No, it's a different movie. Bing, bang, bong. No. <laughs> song okay. different movie okay <laughs> let's see oh see jamie said it sounds like an italian song too it was by rod morris 
Oh yeah, there Becky says right there she's got an Aunt Beck. Rod Morris Bimbo, nineteen fifty three. Yeah. Huh. I love that song. Huh. Never heard of it. Yeah. And I think oh, that's I Madonna's favorite song. She's got Aerosmith. Don't want to miss a thing. Yeah, reminds her of her husband. He passed away a year ago. Oh. Oh, she can't listen to it now. So, yeah, it, music's so powerful. It's really powerful. Harbor Lights makes me think of my mom and dad because that was their song. Ah. Um. That was one of those old swooning songs. Mm -hmm. You know what else reminds me of my childhood? Mm. Every time I hear it is, um, the ship was found on the shore of this uncharted <laughs> desert isle with Gilligan. <laughs> her too. Oh no! That and brings that back a, you of? that brings back a whole lot of a whole lot of memories when I hear that. Are they good? Yeah. Oh, good. In the um. There's a little old shack called the Shady Rest at the junction. Well, all your stuff is a TV. You're the TV generation. Oh, yeah. Well, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Roberta Flack killing me softly. Oh, yeah. That's a beautiful song. That's like me and Betty were talking yesterday, and there's like, Certain songs that I could never ever listen to with anybody else mm -hmm. if we weren't together. Mm -hmm. It just would it just wouldn't, yeah. It wouldn't jive, huh? No. Green. Only have one color of green. I don't want a dark green like that. It's too much. Too much green. Too bright. Nancy said, remember the song Oh Donna? Donna was my mother's name and my father told me he was the singer. I believed him for a long time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Aunt Bex is the love shack. Tin roof. <laughs> Busted. Love shack. <laughs> I saw them in concert. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey, Adria. What day is it? <laughs> oh, seasons in the sun. That was sad. That song always made me sad. And the night the lights went out in Georgia. I remember laying in my room and I would feel like I was there and I was scared. I would be hiding behind a tree watching them hanger brother and the pot belly sheriff yeah butterfly kisses was a song that donna's daughter and husband picked out for their dance at a wedding yeah that's a pretty song that was carlisle or somebody carlisle yeah that was real popular for Weddings. In that song, Billy, Don't Be a Hero. Oh, yeah. I remember the name, and I can't remember the song. It was like a war song or something. Mm. About Billy, Don't Be a Hero, Come Back and Make Me Your Wife. And as he started to go, she said, Billy, keep your head low, whoa, whoa. Oh whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, the song the song about the rat, Ben. 
Oh, JJ can't have see she see that shows the power of music. She can't even listen to it. Because it reminds her of too many things, too bad, sad things. Oh. <clears throat> I remember the first song that I, I don't know if it's the first song that ever impacted me, but it's the first song I remember um, was my uncle had this, um, oops, this um, album of Billie Holiday and um, uh -oh, what was the name of the song? I just, I went blank. Is it called Forbidden Fruit? I think that's what it's called. Is that what it's called? I know that's a line in the in the book. I mean, in the song. I'm free, I'm I'm going blank on what the name of the actual name of the song is. Um, but I remember hearing that for the first time. I was, you know, a little kid. My my uncle he liked a lot of um he liked older music, so he had a lot of like big band and blues and stuff like that. And I remember I didn't understand the lyrics. So I asked him, you know, what does that mean? And then when he explained it to me, he's like, I was like, in what? I was in horror because I was just a little kid. So I was very impressive of any actually, but. Um, strange fruit. Strange fruit. There you go. Um yeah, that's the first song I remember that had a, a very deep impression on me. I remember when I was little, every time we would have company, because my daddy was a guitar player, a bando player, all of that. Mm -hmm. They would always make me sing Ruby. When company would come over, my daddy would pull out his guitar and they would make me sing that Kenny Rogers song, Ruby. Oh, I don't know if I know that song. And people still to this day, mom will go, Susie, do you remember Mr. Miz? And I'm like, no. And they're like, oh, you used to sing Ruby with your daddy. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. <laughs> And any big band music makes me happy because every Saturday, no, excuse me, every Sunday morning uh, before any of us woke up, my dad would get up when we were kids. He loved old band music. And so, and my mom was the type that liked things kind of quiet on the quiet side. And um, so it was fun on Sunday because my, my dad didn't care. <laughs> he would. Put, he had old records of Benny Goodman and all those guys, and he'd put it up loud, and um, it'd be you could hear it through the whole house. <laughs> you could barely talk; it was so loud. And uh, and he'd make um, waffles for us. That was the Sunday tradition. So whenever I hear any kind of big band music, it's always happy thoughts. My dad did that, but it was with Zydeco music. <laughs> Hey, whatever is exciting. <laughs> yeah. And I remember my daddy worked out of town and he'd be gone Thursday and Friday and come home Saturday about lunchtime. Mm -hmm. And my mama would be cleaning house and she had that big old wooden four foot long thing that she played her record albums in. Mm -hmm. And she would be listening to Engelbert Humperdinck. Oh. It should be just a cleaning in the house somewhere. My daddy would come in and he'd turn it from 33 to 75 or whatever it is. And it would sound like a woman singing. Uh-huh. And I remember she'd go, oh, please go fix the stereo. Your daddy must be home. <laughs> and he would get so tickled. And she would just <laughs> get that look on her face. It's like, oh, Lord. <laughs> Janine said she was brought up on big band music. Her father loved it. Glenn Miller, Louis Armstrong, Hello Dolly. 
Yep. Artie Dar said they did big band on Saturday after house and yard work was finished. Yeah, 78. That's what it was, 78. Okay, cool. One of those, 33, maybe it was 45 made it go faster. I don't know. But it's so funny because the kids these days think that these are new songs, and it's like, no. That song's been done three or four times already. The one song, um, oh, I forget now the name of the group, the original group. You guys will know. Somebody in there will know. Um, the song Hurt. Who, who sang that first? Um, uh, Ron Stepp? No, 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 no. Newer than that. I mean, yeah, newer than that. It, it's a guy. It's a guy band, a big guy group. What's the name of those people? I think that's Hurt So Bad. Yeah, yeah. No, this is called Hurt. Anyway, um, it's about drug addiction. I mean, it's a depressing song. There's nothing exciting about it. Um, But then, how many years ago after that? Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash did it. Which I'm not like a big fan of Johnny Cash. I'm just, you know, I'm just not. I mean, it's like I don't like him. It's just I'm not a fan of his. But when he did Hurt, oh my gosh. It was really, really cool. Um, and it took on a whole new meaning because he was an older person. And so now all the lyrics now didn't have to do with a young person contemplating suicide. Now all the words had to do with an older man that's lived his life and he's contemplating death, you know, and it's, it's just, it's, I, I, I like it. I like Johnny Cash anyway. I mean, I don't like to sit around getting depressed. It's a very depressing song, <laughs> but, but he did such a cool job and the cinematography and how they did the video for it. It, you know, it's good enough just if you just listen to the audio, but you have to see it with the video for it to um, make the full impact of what the lyrics, what he's saying and what he's thinking with the video. It's really cool. Donna said it was nine inch nails. That's right. That's right. And Linda said the video was so moving. It was a song called Hurt, Jennifer. Yeah. Yeah. Don't watch it if you don't want to get depressed. It is not a happy song. I love him. And then when he sang with his wife about, I've been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere. June. What was her name? June Carter. Yeah. She's and in the video. Yeah. And she does. He had that song, um, I keep a close watch on this heart of mine. I keep my fly wide open all the time. I keep my pants up with a ball of twine. If you are mine, you'll pull my twine. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was not in the video. <laughs> no, it was a different song. All of Glenn Campbell's songs were sad, APG. The most underrated guitar player in history. Thank you. Thank you. In history. Yes. Him and that other guy from, what's the name of that guy? Roy Clark. Both of them are the most underrated yes. musicians. I mean, I, you know, I'm not into their singing at all. I'm talking about their musical ability on, you know, yeah. playing instruments. Because yeah. I'm, I'm not into traditional Western music or country music or whatever you want to call it. But... Their playing ability? Oh my gosh! Yeah, Roy Rod, uh, Roy Clark was great. John and Denver, the, yeah. There wasn't anything he couldn't play. Any instrument that had a string, he could play it, and well. Yeah, that's how my daddy was: guitar, banjo, ukulele. Didn't matter. And there was this guy that was um, doing a critique on both of them, and they said the reason, his opinion. Is that the reason that the average Joe Schmo did not appreciate their talent 
was because they made it look effortless. It did not, they made it look like, oh, well, anyone can do that because it doesn't look like they're really trying, you know, but that's how good they were. They didn't have, they, it just looked like they were playing, having fun when what they were doing was really artistically challenging. So there's a lesson. Don't be too good at anything. <laughs> People will take you for granted. <laughs> I tell you what, man, I love to see somebody playing the steel guitar. Mm -hmm. That is awesome. My favorite is um, once a year, they'd have a festival when I, on the big island where I live. And it was the steel, steel guitar, you know, because the slack key steel guitar, mm -hmm. Hawaiian music. Oh, my gosh. There's some guys there that would just blow your mind away. Yeah, him and Buck Owens would be picking in a grinning. <laughs> I'm liking these, you guys. I know, me too. Mm -hmm. I need to put a little piece of tape over that or else it'll make a hole. And I still haven't found my my uh, masking tape, you guys. I have two of them. And I need to clean up this place. I think that's what I'll do tomorrow. Oh, um, I got to put everything away. Because I still have stuff out from yesterday that we were playing with. I still have stuff out from um, doing the, the bee thing. I got the stuff out for, for making those little packets that I made for spring. I've got stuff out for next month's caboodle. I got stuff out. <laughs> Can you tell? And I have all this stuff out. I need to put some stuff away. And then I'll probably find my masking tape. I'm pretty sure I will. See? I'll put black on that too. I'm pretty sure I will. But did, they're saying Steve Martin was a banjo player. Yeah, he was. Linda said he does online banjo classes. Do you know I had French fries with um, Steve Martin? Did I tell you about my French fry? Um, Sorry, with Steve Martin? I guess not. <gasps> I never told you about me having French fries with Steve Martin. Has it ever been a trivia question in your show? <laughs> I guess it will be in the future. <laughs> This was before he was, this is when he was just a Plano stand-up comedian. Um, this is before anything else, before movies, before nothing. But anyway, we were down, I lived in California, and he was appearing, I knew him as a comedian, I thought he was really funny from his um, records and stuff. And um, so he was going to be down in Los Angeles in this place it, it, held, it held maybe like six seven hundred people so i told uh, i told a friend of mine i said hey you know can you get some tickets let's go i'd love to go and he goes okay so we get the tickets and he gets the tickets and we go down and it, he's hysterical i mean he's just really funny and then at the end he goes you know because if you know him from his early humor he he was really crazy from when he was younger and so he goes you know what would be really cool good night donna good night donna he says guys you know what would be really cool to eat french fries with the rusty peacock if we would all go down to mcdonald's now, there's 600 people right he says if we all went down to mcdonald's and i got in the front of the line and all i did was order one bag of french fries and everyone goes yeah 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 let's do it and that's what we did the show was over everyone filed out he got in front of us he led us <laughs> like like swine to the slaughter and we walked down two blocks all 600 people practically everybody went went down to mcdonald's we all walk in together we all didn't fit some people had to stay out and um, he went up to the front and he says, uh, could I have one order of your small French fry? <laughs> and the guy up there is looking at him like, 
<laughs> and that's all he bought. And then we all turned around and we walked out. <laughs> that so I didn't actually eat them with him, but we did go to McDonald's together to, to buy fries. And that will be in, in a in a trivia question later. So remember, I don't know what part of it will be, but it will be. So I better remember my story. <laughs> what would have been weirder is if he had bought 600 small fries. <laughs> well, he thought the humor was all these people, and they're, they're scared, thinking, oh, my gosh, everyone's going to order. Like when you get off of, uh, off of you know, the buses, you know, for the – the players or something and they have all these orders are going to fill so they're all panicking while they're watching all these people come like how are we going to fill these orders uh could i have one bag of small <laughs> <laughs> that was the joke <laughs> oh, God. they were anticipating being flooded with orders so they were like panicking <laughs> and he did that while he had that fake arrow that goes through your head. Yes. He had that on at the time. <laughs> he was a wild and crazy guy. Oh, yeah. Way before Saturday Night Live. I think I ever ate French fries with the famous person. Well, I didn't eat them. We just bought them together. <laughs> I didn't get to eat them. I, I did go to high school with a country singer, though. Hey, hey. Yep. And I sat right next to him in history class. His name was um, Tracy Bird. Well, there you go. Okay, what kind of tape am I going to put? I'm just going to put some just regular tape then. Because I do not know where my masking tape is. But I do want to protect that. Jennifer said when she thinks of Steve Martin, she always thinks of the dentist in a little shop of horrors. Oh, yeah. I think of him being a... Poor black child. <laughs> and jerk. <laughs> I finally figured out what my special purpose is. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Betty still make fun of that part where he's leaving. He says, I'm the, I don't I don't need nothing. I I'm, I need my remote control, but that's all I need. I don't need nothing else. Well, and I might need this chair right here, but then I don't need nothing else. I got my remote control in my chair. Well, I might need this jacket right here. I might need that. <laughs> Good thing he didn't go to Ashley. <laughs> oh, God. He'd still be there trying to pick up his stuff. <laughs> Breathe, breathe. I know how hard it can be. <laughs> I'm still struggling. My nose ain't broke. It's upside down. Huh? Oh, never mind. I make sure the top is up. You know, and then whatever's on the bottom, if there's anything left over, I cut it. I just don't want to cut the top. It's too close to the writing. So maybe you could get him to come on your on your on your live one night. Who? Steve Martin. Oh yeah, okay. Remember when? Remember we went and we went and ordered some fries? fries? And you didn't share with me. <laughs> and you'd be going, I'm gonna have a surprise guest on Saturday. Oh, it's Shannon Green, it's Shannon Green. <laughs> eh, wrong. <sighs> Did I tell you the time that I had lunch with um, Debbie Reynolds? 
I guess not. What? What? How come I haven't shared these stories with you? Because I guess you're just now making them up. I don't know. <laughs> How can I make up a French fry story? Come on. <laughs> okay, so. I don't know if it, was, if it was her last husband, but one of her husbands, she had many husbands, but his name was something, something, Carl, C-K-A-R-L. And in Southern California, Mr. Carl had, um, had a line of um, shoe stores. I think they were just West Coast. I'm not sure to tell you the truth. And there was a Carl shoe store in our town and my uncle worked for carl shoe store all right that was in the day when you actually had shoe stores <laughs> where they just sold one, one type of shoe i mean brand of shoe anyway so he worked there and mr carl would come you know every so often to check out his different stores and one time um, she came with him and she really, you could tell she didn't want to be there. He was checking the books and stuff like that. And it just happened. I was there. I don't even know why I was there. And um, so she was getting all kind of bored. She goes, Hey kid, I, I forget how old I was at the time. Um, I don't know. I had to have been. I wasn't a teen or anything. I must have been like 10, 11, something like that. And she goes, hey, kid, is there some place we can go get something to eat? And there was. And so I said, sure, blah, 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 blah. And so she goes, okay. And so we went and we had lunch together. Now, we did actually eat together. <laughs> I just didn't sit there and watch her eat <laughs> or take the food out. <laughs> Oh my goodness, but that was fun. That was an experience. Very, very interesting. She was, um, she was, I don't know what impression you guys have of her, but she was very loud. Um, she loved to cuss every other word. Um, yeah, she was loud, but she was nice at the same time. Usually people that are kind of loud mouth and everything, they're not very nice. But she was very nice. Um, yeah, you could very easily take her wrong as being rude, but I don't. I don't think she was rude. But that was fun. That was interesting. Well, she could have been Joan Crawford. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that one has the green one. That looks kind of cool. He was Tammy. Da, 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 da. And afterwards, because I didn't ask her, we talked about a lot of things, but I did not ask her anything that had to do with her career, you know, as her being a celebrity or anything. I didn't ask her one question about like, how is it like to act? And I didn't ask her any of those things. And then afterwards, she really thanked me. She goes, oh, I just love having a normal conversation. She goes, I'm so sick and tired of answering all those questions. Well, little did she know, I didn't know that much about her, so I didn't have too many questions. The only thing, the only thing I knew about her was my favorite. I'll talk about favorite favorite movies, and um, and I didn't even tell her that. I wish I had now. But my favorite all time movie is Singing in the Rain, and that was her first movie, and it's still one of my favorite movies. Okay. And I had seen an old movie of hers. I don't remember what it was called. And I really didn't want to bring that one up. That was my other second one I knew of her. But that was with her other husband. Um, Eddie. Yes. And it was it had something to do with a bundle of joy was named. It had to do with the baby. This, <laughs> she finds a baby on, on the steps of something. And she gets it. And then people think it's her baby. And she works for this store. 
and that guy is like her boss and somehow people think that he's the father it gets very complicated very complicated <laughs> i think i remember that movie <laughs> and i always thought that was a cute little movie Okay, so who else famous have I met? I can't remember. <laughs> I met Freddie Fender. Oh, cool. I actually know who that is. That's because a, my grandpa. I a picture of my mama sitting in his lap. Oh, dear. <laughs> Was she supposed to be? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because they were, they were, um, my daddy and them were singing with him. He was at the club. They were singing. Oh, okay. I know about him because my grandfather liked him. He put the radio up when he could come on. Oh, or yeah. That the last teardrop falls. I can't remember if it was records. It was probably records. Probably. Yeah. more stuff. I put a piece of tape on there. I got a um Don Nelson. Who's Don Nelson? I got a sweaty a sweaty um scarf from Tom Jones. Oh no. <laughs> Ooh, who's it sweaty from? <laughs> oh that's right. APG has an Oscar from from being a an outstanding performer. She keeps it right by her bed. Outstanding performer of what? <laughs> I'm afraid to ask. She showed it today on her live. She ran in the house and she got it. Okay, so Lucy. Oh, she has two shirts of David Foster. Oh, my God. He's a cradle robber. Don Nelson. That was um, Ricky Nelson's brother, wasn't it? I don't know. Oh, Johnny's related to Cheech Marin. Can we follow him around with a baggy, man? <laughs> Uh-oh. Carol's getting droopy eyes. Better than droopy drawers. All right, well, make sure you go to the Louvre before you go to bed. You don't yeah. Have to up. We don't want no accidents. And if we do, we don't want to hear about it. Dialing for dollars. Oh, okay. There you go. I remember that dialing for dollars. Who? What? Remember that show, Dialing for Dollars? It sounds familiar, but I don't even know what it is. Yeah. I can't remember, but it was. Yeah, well, that sounds familiar, but I can't tell you what it what it is, what it means. Oh, she, Carol's gonna skip to the loo. <laughs> Donnie says Cheech doesn't smoke dope; only Chong does. Yeah, that's what I heard. Yeah, but didn't Cheech the one that has the um? The CBD oil company now? <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> yeah, it was a game show. Oh, okay. Ah! Don't do that, Rosemary. I saw Cher at Foley's. Foley's? What's Foley's? That's a department store. Oh, okay. Yep. But she's getting bell bottoms or what was she doing? She was um she was um promoting her her perfume. Oh. And and I and I, I sat sat in a ch in a chair on the street and watched Sam Elliott make a movie in Houston. Mm hmm. Were you an extra? Mm -mm, I, I, no. I would I would have been, though. You need me to step in? Yeah, I will. <laughs> <laughs> I 
in the lead, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> the lead heroine. Yeah, that's what it was. It was a game show in Houston, and they would talk. It was a talk show, and then they would pick a number from the phone book and call them, and you had to know the dollar amount to win the money. Oh, so it was a live show. Oh, Linda Morrell met Robin Lee in Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous. No. Is he still alive? I don't know. Stasha saw Bruce Willis when he was filming in Philly. Ooh. He has probably had some kind of gun with him. He had a lot of guns in his movies. Oh, I I sat and visited with um uh, Lonnie Anderson. Oh yeah? Yeah, whenever um cuz I used to work for um the bookstore it was called the bookstore and it was in a old antique um movie theater down like in the art district mm -hmm. of and she was promoting her book my life in high heels or um yeah she wrote a book and so um i had to help her get set up for her book signing and all that kind of stuff or how i screwed burt reynolds <laughs> Out yeah. of money. <laughs> Dan Terry said she talked to Mark Carmen for about 45 minutes and had no idea who he was until she went back to her family and somebody told her. <laughs> That's the best way to have a conversation. <laughs> oh, no. Robin Leach died a couple of years ago. Oh, okay. Yes, Journey, Keeper of the Stars. Sam Elliott's in the new TV show, 1883. I don't have that. I don't have that channel. Kathy D got to meet Mr. Peppermint at a live performance in Arlington, Texas. Who's that? I don't know who that is. Oh, God, the Thompson twins. Stasha hadn't heard of them in a long time. Who's that? It was a band back in the 80s, I think. 80s, late 90s. I mean, early 90s. Stasha saw them in New York City doing a photo shoot in Rockefeller Plaza. Mr. Peppermint. Yeah, that was a, like a local show. Like with Don Mahoney and Gina Claire. I had Samuel L. Jackson at a party at my house. Wow. Does that count? It was before he was like famous, famous. But he was still, he was already an actor. But I had a friend that was a director of a, well, TV and, TV and movie, mostly TV. He did a lot of um, Magnum P.I. directing of that. And um, so anyway, I lived up in this area where he had a house. Um, the director guy had the house. And, uh, well, backstory, backstory. We went up and bought some uh, a piece of property up in the mountains. And it was out in the middle of nowhere, up on top of this backside of the hill. And you couldn't see another house. All you saw was this valley. It was really picturesque. And, um... So anyway, so we bought the property and then one day we were out there just walking, you know how you get something and you you get all excited. So we're just there walking literally around on this piece of property, visualizing if we were going to build something where it would be and stuff like that. When this guy comes driving down, remember this is an isolated spot. You cannot see another house. And there are no cars anywhere. And here comes this car putt-putting down. 
and he comes around and he gets off and he goes, excuse, he, he says this to us. He goes, excuse me, can I help you? You would think that we would say that to him, right? <laughs> he's walking on our property and he's saying, uh, excuse me, can I help you? <laughs> I really didn't know how to answer that. And I go, uh, no, we're fine. And, and then he goes, um, may I ask what you're doing here? <laughs> And I said, this is our property. And he goes, what? I mean, then he really got animated. He goes, what do you mean it's your property? I said, it's our property. We bought it. And he goes, oh, no. He would go up there, not every day, but almost every day with a book and with a diary. And he would sit there on this oak, by, lean up against this oak tree that was right in the middle of our property. So in his mind, that was his spot, even though he didn't own it. <laughs> and so when we told him, it was our like, goal, oh, he was like all devastated, you know? Anyway, so at, we eventually did build on there. And as we were building, we became friends. And as we were building, you know, he'd come by and, and see the progress and stuff like that. So after it was all done, um, he said he was having a few friends come over because he had he had get togethers all the time at his place. And uh, he says, um, do you mind if um, I bring some of my friends up here? Um, you know, to show them the spot and what you've done with it and stuff like that. I go, sure, no problem. Well, what I didn't realize that that was one of the guys that was with him was Samuel L. Jackson. But he had a lot of people that were um that were doing like working in in the business you know either the you know tech people or you know directors people that weren't really in front of the camera they were more behind the camera and um but anyway that was one of his friends and then there was a couple of the people i forget their names right now they were in a tv show at the time but we had a lot of fun and so I always remember, I, I remind Richard, after Samuel L. Jackson became, you know, famous, I said, remember when he was up at the house? I go, what are you, he goes, what are you talking about? Don't you remember? Blah, 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 blah. He goes, yeah. I go, that was him. That was him. And I go, yeah, that was him. <laughs> so that, so I've also eaten it. Well, it's not French fries, but I have eaten with Samuel L. Jackson before he was famous. Okay, this one's done. Well, that's pretty interesting. Did you ever meet Dirk Diggler when you lived in there in California? Meet who? Dirk Diggler. I don't know who the heck that is. Okay, well, you would know him if you met him. Okay. <laughs> APG said she touched a lot of she touched a lot of famous people. Let me see who she said. <laughs> she touched Norman Reedus, which I don't know who that is. Me neither. Michael Rooker, I don't know who that is. Me neither. And Kristen Bauer. Don't know who that is. She met him and touched him. <laughs> she met him and touched him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, God. What's um Dirk Diggler was a well endowed male porn star. Oh, oh, she touched him. Oh my gosh. No, not him. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was wondering. <laughs> you never saw the movie Boogie Nights? No. No, okay. It was kind of better, better than asking if I watched any movie that was after 1970. <laughs> it's kind of modeled after um, John Holmes. <coughs> <coughs> okay, this was done. Oh. Uh, Daryl and Merle from The Walking Dead. Kristen is Pamela of True Blood. Oh, Journey touched Keith Urban. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Artie Dar said, uh, oh no. In public. She touched him in public. <laughs> All right, I'll do this with what color? Ooh, oh, some kind of a blue. Hello. This will look pretty. Pretty with the blue. Who is Norman Reedus? I have no idea. I have to look it up because I don't know. My director friend was um, Ivan Dixon. I don't know who that is. Well, because he's a director. Most people don't know directors. Unless they're like super famous. Well, he was in a um, a series before he was a director. Um, what was the name of that series he was in? <sighs> Had to do with Germany POWs. Hogan's Heroes? Yeah! He was in Hogan's Heroes. Crane? Huh? Crane? No, no, no. Ivan Dixon. Oh. He was the only black guy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I forget what he did on the show, but yeah, him. And he turned after that, he 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 was a director of a lot of stuff, but I know nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Colonel Clink. Yeah. <coughs> Bob Crane. He died of sad death. He was a uh, he was a sad person. Like, man, he told us stories about him. Oh yeah. my god. Yeah. He was not a nice person. I remember I was at my grandma's when he died. And I was so sad. Yeah, well, he wasn't a nice person at all. Me and my daddy watched Hogan's Heroes all the time. Good night, APG. Go Good touch night. some more famous people. Yeah, touch some more in your dreams. Let us know who they are. I'm sorry, guys, that all we're doing is gluing tonight, but you know. It was so funny today on Carol's Live. People were, she must have said something about a glue book. I had to keep going in and out of meetings, but mm -hmm. somebody was going, what, What's a glue book? What's a glue book? Explain Aww. a glue book. <laughs> so that must not be the thing over there. Yeah. Well, they came into um, junk journals, you know, a little while after, you know, it was trending here. And now they've really taken off with junk journals. The different YouTubers from from um, all all parts of Europe, actually. I found this new lady. Oh, I don't remember what her name is. I don't remember the name of the channel either. I'll have to look it up. But she um. She does jelly plating like nobody's business. It's beautiful what she does. Is that the lady that I sent you the link to? She's kind of like um, Robin McClendon. I don't know, but this lady's in, um, I forget if she's in Australia or New Zealand. One or the other. I can't remember. Um, I think I sent you the link. Or maybe you sent it to me. I, I sent it to you. I said, have you seen this person? You said, I just found her a couple weeks ago. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's her. Yeah. And um, that's hmm. really pretty stuff. Yeah, that's right. I remember now. Let me see who that is. Um, I think it starts with an F for last, her first name or last name. But I don't remember if that's the name of her channel. It's like Frory or... Yeah, it's it's a little different. But she's really cool. I mean, she's she's is is Jamie still here? <laughs> is Jamie still here or is she gone? <laughs> she said she was going to bed, but 
that doesn't mean anything. I'm just still listening. Anyway, she's kind of at the same volume as Jamie. <laughs> I think that's why I like her. <laughs> yeah, she's kind of at the same volume. It's called Froyal Art. Okay, there you go. Yeah, she has all kind of interesting, interesting paper. And her stuff, she's not copying anybody because she just discovered Robin not that long ago. She's been doing this for a long time. Um, but some, because some people were saying, oh, she, you know, she does a lot like her stuff. Well, she does, but that was her stuff before she even saw her, so just want to point that out. She's not like copying stuff. She's an original. And she has, I saw too, she, she has classes on, I forget where it is, Teachable or something like that. And she does other types of art, not just jelly printing, but her, her, um, her channel. Collaging too. Yes. And uh, she does a beautiful collage with her jelly prints. I think she does, a, she teaches the same um, platform that um, Robin does. Oh, okay. Whoa, look who just fell out of fell out of their chair and into chat. Who? Mutt Recreations by Brooke. <laughs> um Happy it's, falling. <laughs> it's like Royal Art, but it starts with an F. Froyal Art. I can't link. I'm in StreamYard. Yeah. Who's our linker out there? APG and Janice. Oh. Janice is here. Let me see if I can get this. Uh, Royal Art. What are you doing a wig, Brooke? Share. Copy you, link. You already have a nap and you're waking up. I'll bushy tail. Bushy tail, excuse me. <laughs> I'm not drinking. <laughs> I'm just trying to get air into my lungs. And I'm filling up with air, the wrong kind of air. <sighs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's done. It kicks me out when I go into YouTube, but there's the link. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, if you want to um, do some really beautiful collage work. And her isn't like cutting stuff out of magazines and stuff like that. It's with all these papers that she makes to do her collage work on the jelly print. It's really pretty. If you want to start a journal, stuff that looks like hers. I think that would be fun. Yeah. 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 It's it's very, very interesting. Well, because it looks very it, it uh, for some reason it just all of it looks like it's nature inspired. It looks very natural. Yeah. Um, even when she works with the metallics and stuff, there's just a quality about it to me that looks that is reflecting nature, you know? Yeah. And that's the kind of stuff I like. So I was drawn to her, her art. All right. What do we have left? Rosemary is making memory cards from all her caboodle kits. Making yeah. a card per kit. Yeah. Because this is her free night. She finished the March oh, caboodle oh, and she's thinking about the April caboodle. Yeah. I just realized today I haven't even done my taxes. You reminded me last night. I'm like, holy cow, usually I have mine done by February 2nd. They're filed. I'm done. It's history. Yeah, I need to do that. So I can pay my, my escrow increase. <laughs> oh, you sound thrilled. It's like I had plans for that that return not to pay escrow. Yeah. 
That's right. <laughs> Elvis said she subscribed to her. Her work is great. She's a hoot. Reminds me of Patty Tolly Parrish as far as personality in a way. Oh. Oop, Sherry said government cashed her check yesterday. Oh. Yeah, exactly. I had plans. It's better when you get to cash the gov the government's check. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, see, I um I paid my quarterlies, so I do get a um I do get a return. I'm happy about that. Okay, I think that's gonna go on there, right? Right. Right. I want to know why the hell my property taxes went up. Because the value of your home went up. Why? Because I got pecs? <laughs> no, because there's fewer homes being built. So anybody that has a home in certain areas, like yours, is a desirable area because of uh, work and you can have a gun and, you know, stuff like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it become popular <laughs> or desirable. <laughs> So you know you get to pay, you get to you get to pay taxes on that revenue that the state is, or they think you're gonna get the state wants a piece of it. You know how it works. Okay. Then. I need to go put the taxes under Betty's name. What taxes? The house. Yeah, the property and school taxes and all that crap. Mm -hmm. And that's because you want to get her in trouble or why? Uh, she owns half this house. So why shouldn't I take her tax? Cheap taxes. <laughs> yeah, but the more stuff you pay, the more deductions you can build up. Where no, because it's... It it's not enough. It's not enough because they raised it. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. So I could pay $5,000 a year in taxes or I can get it cheaper because she fell over the threshold mm -hmm. and the taxes will be cheaper. I don't have no, I don't have, we have one gun, one gun. What kind of Texan are you? We got pellet guns, but we only have one gun. And I don't even know where it's at. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Betty asked me not too long ago, did we ever find the gun when we moved over here? I said, I don't think so. <laughs> but I think we found it about two months ago. Well, let's hope it's not loaded and you don't know where it is. What well, it is loaded, but oh, it's here. It's not a shotgun. It's a it's a handgun, and it's in a little case, and it has a safety on. We had two shotguns, but we traded them to the neighbor to clean our roof off. <laughs> Sure did. <laughs> oh no. Oh, that's not very helpful, is it? I'm trying to get ink off the lid. <laughs> yeah, same color as your ink pad. Why did somebody tell me, Rosemary, that's the lid? <laughs> oh, dear. That's what happens when you can't breathe. You have no oxygen to your brain. I think it's pretty weird. 
Oh, already got guns, rifles, and poisonous mushrooms. Oh my god! I have a gun and a pit bull. I think I'm cool. <laughs> I don't have either. Of course, my pit. She's a. So I'm uncool. Big old baby. She'll hear something outside and she'll run out there and she'll look and then she'll turn around and run in here and then she'll crawl up on my lap and look out the window. <laughs> yeah, those big ferocious pit bulls. Yeah. <sighs> upside down, upside Broke down. Nose. Broke and the inside is still swole. Yeah, um, it's swollen, that's for sure. Lucy has a bite and cat, but no guns. Remember, you guys, if you're in the group, you can print the collages off and make your own. Don't forget. That's right. You can make caboodle cards if you don't have caboodle kits. That's right. And these, this whole thing's going to end up looking pretty cool. And you can just keep adding. Good night, Journey. Have a good evening. Good night. Oh, that pizza was horrible. Who was it from? Papa John's. Oh. I haven't had theirs in a long time. Well, I haven't had pizza in a long time. The only time I have pizza is when I go shopping at Sam's. <laughs> I'll get a piece of pizza. Because Richard can't have any. So I don't want him to drool. I don't eat anything in front of him. He can't have I have to sneak it. <laughs> he knows I, I get my piece there every time I go shopping. I go like, I don't know, every 10, 11 days, something like that. And uh, he goes, are you going to get a piece of pizza? I go, I certainly am. Well, be sure and give me a kiss when you get home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, that was done. Ta -da. Okay. I used to like to go eat hamburgers at the bowling alley. Hamburgers? Oh. oh my God, they had the best hamburgers at the local bowling alley. Let me put aside all the ones that are done. So I don't get confused. Those are done. Wow, we got a lot done, you guys. Yeah, that does sound kind of strange. Every seven to ten days, Rosemary gets a piece. <laughs> <laughs> That's better than some. <laughs> it's <is> true. <laughs> that APG, she's got a an Oscar for outstanding performer. <laughs> Oh, a hot dog. Yeah, hot dog at the stadium. Those are usually Nathan, right? Hot dogs? I don't know. Yeah, I think they are. I brought I bought me some Hebrew nationals the other day. I want to try those. Mm-hmm. They have those too a lot. Nathan's and Hebrew national. Okay, let's see. What do I lack? Like? Oh, I got my trash one to do. <laughs> I haven't finished my trash one. I'm going to put a little something to keep that closed and put something on here. So I do have to finish that, but I can still put the back. And I got this one. I don't know what color I want the back of that one. 
Johnny said make them. They would make amazing encaustic panels. Ooh, they would, wouldn't they? Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> you can't stick an encaustic panel in a library pocket. I haven't made the library pocket yet. Yeah, you could. If I make it a gusset, because it's going to be kind of thick. With a little gusset, it could go in there real easy. All right. So these are when I did the first ones and I did backs to them. So I have to figure out which one I want for the front. Well, that's obviously the front. It's got, yeah, that's the front. And I don't know which one I want the front for this one because I like both of them. It's got that cool tree. Well, if they go in pockets, it doesn't matter. You can flip them around every 30 days. <laughs> what? No, there's going to be a backing on these, remember? That's what I'm doing right now. Oh, sheesh. Hello? What have we been doing for an out two hours? <laughs> so, anyway, so this will be the back. Hello. <laughs> Um, I don't know which one I like better. Oh, no. That's right. You can have Alexa remind you to flip them, but if you're going to cover them up with a, a <laughs> library card. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, these are not going to be flipped. Well, actually, the the lady is a napkin, isn't she? Yeah. Okay, so make put the cover that up. Cover this up. Yeah, for more creative on the front. Yeah. Okay. Right. There your your pieces, parts, as you call it. Yeah. Although she was part of the kit. Remember when we did the? Yeah, but the bamboo cover. I agree, though. Yeah, you're right. All right, so we've got, okay, so this will be this way, this way, that way, that way, this one, and of course that one. Okay, so let's do those last couple of ones. What time is it? Oh, maybe we won't. Okay, so I'm not going to do it, and I'm going to tell you why. I think I'm going to uh, do a couple of the green ones. I like those green ones, <clears throat> and I don't want to print that right now because we'll get all wacky. Um. That would look pretty at that color. I want the green one on this one. And if I put the green one on this one, because that's a little bit of the green on there. So I could do that one. I'm just not going to print no more. I'll work with what I got. They turn pink. What? <laughs> Johnny said you need some red ones, but they will turn pink when you print them. Yeah, probably, huh? Yeah. Well, unless you really go with a really <laughs> peach to pink. This one might even look kind of cool if I just did it on black and white. You know, because it'd be black and white. Then I could write with red or something like that. No, I can't do that because all this will show through on the black. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I'm not going to do that. <clears throat> Change my mind. Midstream. So this is going to go here. Move that up a little bit. And that is going to show a little spot right there. So. Ooh, that pizza sucked. Giving me indigestion. Oh no. Bad pizza pepper. and cake. Pizza and cake today. You thought I went to a birthday party. <laughs> she was gonna do that Artie Dar, but then she changed her mind. Punch a hole at the top and put it on a ring. Yeah, that, that, you know, that ended up being like not very challenging. 
kind of like the Sherwin Williams color swatch. Yeah. I thought, no, after all this work, I don't want to just put it on a crazy ring. Yeah, that look good. Okay. Oh, right side. Ah, scared myself. Okay. <laughs> like, oh no. Is that the right side? Yeah. I scared myself though. Yeah, remember? Uh, I'll go in there and chew me an alka or I'll be better. Oh my gosh, I remember going to my grandma's in, in Louisiana. And every night before bed, she would sit there and drink the alka like it was a cup of tea or something. Ew. Every night. I bet you she was healthy. Betty said she used to do that with her daddy because he was a city bus driver when he would come home at night. She would help him drink his Alka-Seltzer. <laughs> Those people drove him to drink, huh? Yeah. All this talk about different foods i'm getting hungry i didn't have supper i had a late lunch did you eat out or eat at home i ate at home oh it was a real late lunch <laughs> like i got home at what time was it oh, i don't remember quarter to five or something like that something like that close to that I had leftovers for lunch. I made homemade chicken, cream and chicken, creamy chicken mushroom, something with rice and homemade French green beans. I looked everywhere in the store for heavy cream. It's not called heavy cream. It's called a whipping cream. Yeah, that's what Richard puts in his coffee. Because it has um, less sugar than um, regular milk. Regular milk has too much carbohydrates. And it makes the sugar go, whoa! And so we started using the whipping cream. And it, you look at the numbers, it's a lot a lot better for, for what ails him. You know, it'd be better for everyone else, but for him. I like that carnation can milk in my coffee. Oh, that reminds me of my grandmother. Yeah, me too. Well, my grandma didn't put cream in her coffee, but she kept it for the old lady across the street. Mm -hmm. All right, ladies. It is 10 o'clock. Susan has to go get her Alka-Seltzer. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing as how I woke up at 3 o'clock this morning, I'm yeah. hating this. I don't know why I'm waking up at 3. And I need to rest my hand. Notice I didn't complain the whole night, just half the night. But um, I'm going to sleep with my with my brace tonight on my hand. And I'll see if in the morning, if I have that burning sensation like I have been having. Man, it's like total pain. Halfway down my arm and all of my hand and my fingers. For a long time in the morning. And this should help alleviate it. Because it, it'll keep my um it'll keep my wrist straight and hopefully it won't be pinching whatever nerve that's being pinched. 
in my everyday activity because I do have I told the doctor I do have a habit of like sleeping like this you know with my hand under the pillow so my hands like that and that's the worst thing that it can do so now I'm gonna have this robot hand <laughs> hope I don't accidentally slap my husband in the middle of the night what? <laughs> but I'll have an excuse all right ladies we're done for tonight thank you so much for coming around and listening to our goofiness and doing absolutely nothing but we enjoyed your <laughs> i i taught you nothing well you we are. found out that the loo is open on sundays that's right <laughs> oh my goodness all right guys i'll be seeing you i'm going to be working on the weekend on the um next month so hopefully i have a lot more to show you by next week Love yeah. shots. I know I, I need to because, hello, it's already the 17th. I need to have it done and the kits put together. Oh, my gosh. I'm already having an anxiety attack. All right. <laughs> See you guys next week. Try to be good. <laughs> All right. Good night. Good night, everybody. <laughs>